I called you here today because we face dire circumstances. Our intelligence has confirmed the existence of a new threat that is unlike any we have seen before. This organization has the ability to carry out attacks anywhere in the world. They are highly lethal and indiscriminate of age, religion, or nationality. The potential for loss of human life and psychological terror is substantial and cannot be ignored. They are the very definition of an unknown quantity. Our only choice of action is to meet force with force. As of this moment, my program is reactivated, and I am handing over command of all global field operations to you. Recruit your operators from among the world's foremost elite. Borders and protocols are irrelevant. We must be the shield that safeguards the civilized world from those who wish to do it harm. No matter how or where our enemies strike, no matter what defense they cower behind, Team Rainbow must stand ready. I used to be undercover. I did time. I had to deal drugs. I even had to kill. And I was so good at it that it got me a promotion. They said it could not be done. They said it was designed for tanks. They said I could not make it smaller and more accurate. They were wrong. think their training will keep them alive. They break down doors and come through windows, weapons drawn. But it's too late. They forgot the first rule of survival. A real hunter always watches where he steps. I trust that the ceramic trauma plate I'm wearing will stop a 357 Magnum round traveling at 490 meters per second. I trust myself not to move, not to flinch. I trust my teammates. And they trust me. I've learned from experience that the place to save lives is in the field, not an office. And sometimes, the only way to save a life is to take one. In a life-threatening situation, the average person's heartbeat can be upwards of 175 beats per minute. A well-trained tango is able to stay cool, keep calm. Their heart rates can be 70 to 100 beats per minute. But by the time I'm done, that number goes down to zero. What the hell are they doing 
I know what you're wondering. What's in the canister? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I'm only mucking about. Relax. As for what's in the canister, it's best you don't ask. an artist and a sniper have in common? Details. Like when a touch of color is out of place. When a shadow does not match with its surroundings. Or when a shape is not where it is supposed to be. The only difference is the stakes. Mine are higher. few spare hours. I'd love to share the details of how this device is a masterpiece of design. Quadruple independent gearboxes enabling 0 to 20 in under 4 seconds. 10 kilometers of internal wiring. 1100 expertly machined hand assembled components. Flawless control at over 300 meters. But all my team needs to know is, does it do the job or doesn't it? And let me tell you right now, it does the job. When you mix fuel, metal oxide, and metal powder in just the right way, it burns at 2,000 degrees Celsius. Hot enough to cut through nearly any barrier known to man. Throw some C4 into the mix. And you've got one hell of a combination. When I was little, my Safta taught me that silence was a woman's best garment. But, I have to admit, I never really took her advice to heart. GPS satellites, unmanned drones, fucking laser sights. The more crutches you have, the more it hurts when they're kicked out from under you. 
there's one thing I know for sure, it's that a six-inch blade never loses reception. 